Strixhaven. Magic Gathering's latest set release. Uh, the Japanese set booster box. Let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got in the archive. So, even the art cards are written in Japanese on the back. So, I do not know um, what this card is. I just know it's an art card, and it's a pretty art card. Oh, and then we got the actual card in the set. Beautiful. That's very nice, actually. Oh, I guess commas can go up there. Oh, this is the all-common pack. Interesting. There's our uncommon, there's our rare, there's our archive. Make room for the thing. And there's a foil common. That was a very common pack. Had that been like a one-off, like I just bought a pack to, to see my luck, that wouldn't have, been, wouldn't have been very lucky, I'll tell you that much. Let's see here, we had another all-common pack. Mm, no, no, we're getting a couple uncommons in here. A little bit better. A little bit better. There's an archive card. There's a foil common. And we got one from the list. From 10, I guess, right? Is that 10? Yeah, I think the X is 10. 2007, okay. Oh, Relentless Rats. I should have read the name first. That's the first thing on there, and our eyes go all over the place instead for some reason. Well, my eyes go all over the place somewhere instead. Uh, nice. I forgot there were list cards in here. Got the owl for our art card. Whole bunch of commons. Uncommon rare. There's our archive. There's a foil common and another list card. Venerated Teacher. I wonder if they pick, uh, if they're selective about this for their um, for their set release because uh, there was another one. There's another school one or education based one uh, from the list, and it's kind of neat to see if if they did intend those to be part of this. I don't know if the list is a changing thing or if it's a set list. I, I don't remember. I don't even know if they ever said it one, one way or the other. But uh, if it is set based and it changes over time, good on them to make this one a little bit school based. And if it's not, based on... Uh, well, that's another lot of commons. And if it's not based on the set, then... Uh, oh, there we go. Our first Japanese alt art one. That's very nice. It actually kind of looks odd being... Uh, what's his name there? Tezzeret. Looks like it'd be better if they didn't give him his robotic arm sort of thing. Or whatever it is. Not robotic. Robotic? automaton arm i don't know what they call it it's all right it's not bad it's uh, an alt art card so i'm not gonna say no to it <laughs> i'm not gonna complain that much about it again a whole ton of commons the last box i opened did not seem to have that many commons in well i guess the first handful of packs i should say oh another japanese alt art that one's gorgeous Kind of gross too, but gorgeous nonetheless. Oh, that's a fireball? I thought that was a brain. I guess that's a fireball. Very nice. Foil uncommon. I always get this one wrong when I pull it out. Just because the way the artwork is uh, set up. look the same. I was talking about this before in my last uh, video of the Japanese set boosters. I get that there's a color palette thing, but you've got uh, what, one, two, three different artists? Three different artists here and their blues are the exact same. Like, I don't know. It, it feels a little too forced. Like, it, 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 it's almost too much commonality between them. There should be a little bit of artistic variance, I feel. It just doesn't give it, a, a, it takes away a level of authenticity in my mind. There's another Japanese alt art. I think that's why we like these alt arts so much, because they're not following the similar color palette and, and layout and design, or not layout and design, but same color palette and stuff like that. Aside from the artwork being gorgeous, it's just something different. These are getting a little too similar, right? Like, if you look at these three, for example, they're the same. I don't know if the coloring comes through well. They're all the same blue. The exact same blue, same amount of halo on it, same amount of everything. It's just very, I don't know, standard. It looks, it's annoying. Not, not, you know, it's just annoying, basically. Uh, what did I do here? Where were these? Did I go through these already? Oh, these were part of that. Whoops. <laughs> I 
to confuse myself. Uh, so there's a Japanese one. Uh, so Inklings, that's what they call these things. Uh, I'm surprised Nintendo didn't take issue with that because in Splatoon, those are called Inklings. I wonder if they did and have to pay royalties on it, if they didn't copyright it. Um, are they a different enough of a genre? I still think it's a gaming thing. Like, I think they might be able to argue it, uh, that, that it's too related, but I don't know. Just, just saying. And we got something from the list from War of the Spark. Last video I was complaining about getting stuff from War of the Spark and recenter than that in the list because it's just a little too recent for my liking. Um, because I've been collecting since Am and Cat, since Am and Cat, just before that. So anything from there on actually is kind of bothersome that is considered classic. I mean, it says right on it, copyright 19, 2019. That's not that long ago to really be considered like classic, I think. I mean, we're literally two years removed from War of the Spark. It was spring, right now, 2019, and they're saying it's a classic enough to be part of a specialized list. Uh, having said that, I got Kazmina Enigmatic Mentor. It's a decent card, I guess, right? So I shouldn't complain that much about it. Oh, and we started with a rare in this pack. Kind of makes up for all the commons. No, it doesn't, because the rest of the pack's all commons. It's a uncommon, double rare pack. Japanese alt art, beautiful. Beautiful one with the scales. Oh, and I give a little peek there what's behind it. It looks like it's a foil Japanese alt art. Um, let's see what it is. Aha, I have no idea, <laughs> but they're both beautiful cards. I will try and put the names somewhere on the screen here, there, I don't know, somewhere so that we know what they are in case you're unaware of what they are because I'm unaware of what they are. Oh, this one's a mythic one. You can see the coloring there on their little symbol. I love these subtle symbols. Um, yeah, that I will uh, try and put the names so that you know what they are if you don't, because I don't. Um, so we know what which card they are. I'm not going to bother putting prices because prices change on things. And really, for me, it's more for the fun of getting it. I, yes, it's fun to have something that's got value too, but the prices change quickly enough, especially in the new set. Like, I wouldn't even bother because they change so fast. It, it doesn't matter, really. Maybe those Japanese ones will hold their value a little bit longer, but a Mythic in Strixhaven comes crashing down within, you know, days, if not, or weeks, if not days of, of the reset release. That's one of my favorite artworks from the set, too. Don't remember the card at all. I just remember I love the artwork on it. Hey, we got our first Mythic. It's an owl teaching Hermione something. A uh, regular archive card, a rare one, and a foil uncommon. We got no foil mythics in our last box. I wonder if we'll get one this time around. Uncommon right at the gate. Making up for all those commons from the last, the first few packs, I should say. Hey, we got it again in non-foil. Beautiful. So I don't need to put up the name again. You guys know what it is, right? You understand that this means whatever the name of it is. <laughs> And a foil common. Hey, we got another mythic. We got no foil mythics out of our last box. Uh, I wonder if we'll get one this time around. Did I already say that? Did I say that like just when I opened the last pack? I may have already said that when I opened the last pack. Wow. It's awfully late considering it's not late. Hmm. I, think I need water. <laughs> um, Japanese alt art. This one's beautiful. I don't know if it's the art on it or what for this one. It's got to be the art, yeah, because I can see the gloss when I move it. But it feels like it's matte finish. Like it just feels like it's got a matte coating on it, which is absolutely beautiful. It doesn't, but it seems like it does. Or maybe it does. No, it doesn't. But something about the artwork seems like it is, which is, I don't know, really nice. And a foil common. Oh, uncommon, right out, right out the gate. Still don't know why you get that sometimes. And a Mythic again. We just got the artwork for him not too long ago. Oh, we got a lot of Mythics this time so far. Something from the Archive. Oh, and a foil from the Archive too. That one looks really nice. Got some nice comic book style art there. Beautiful. 
That one's a little worn off there, that planeswalker symbol. Do they? No, they don't all have a planeswalker symbol. Why does he have a planeswalker symbol? I don't understand why he's got the walker symbol and the rest don't. Is that different? I think I've gotten this art card before too. Hmm. That's weird. It's not even embossed in like the signatures are. Weird. That's interesting. Anyone understands why or knows why that's the case, let me know. That's just more like it. Two commons and then a bunch of uncommons. That's the way I want to see the packs open. And a Japanese mythic art one. Let me leave it here for a minute so that I can actually put the name up for a little bit of time. And a foil uncommon. Did I mention I didn't get any foil mythics in the last box? I'm kidding, I know I, messed, I know I mentioned it at least once. <laughs> I'm not that crazy, not yet. Soon though, just not yet. See, this blue and red. I mentioned the red last time. I mentioned the blue in this box opening. They're just, and a different artist again, like a third artist again. It's just too much of the exact same color. There's no variance to it. It's kind of getting, I don't know. It's, it's losing something. You, you lose that artness to it when they, when they force I think, I think, at least, when they force everything that specific. Uh, Mythic from the Archive. Foil Uncommon. And a list card. Is our second list card? Third. Third list card. Ruined Stalactite. Okay. No. Nope. Art card. Some Uncommons. A rare... Another Japanese one. This is the one with the uh, funny eyes. Funny eyes. The surprised eyes or vomit eyes. I can't tell. Uh, it depends what the card is. That might tell me what it is. <laughs> and a foil rare. Artwork goes that way. These would be nice as an uncut sheet, except that some artwork is vertical and some is horizontal, so it wouldn't really work well, I don't think. Uncommon right away. Oops. And our commons. More uncommons. Oh, we got a foil mythic back there. I peeked it by accident. Another Japanese alt art one. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. Uh, yep, yeah, we finally got a foil mythic out of two boxes. That's one of them. That's uncommon for me, but not really uncommon. I guess it's mythic because these are uncommon. Yeah, that was. That, yeah, that was really weak. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. See, no Walker symbol. So. This one is a misprint. You can get misprinted art cards. They're both number 10, right? Yeah, both number 10. That's weird. Hmm. I guess you can get misprinted art cards. Hey, another mythic. A dragon of some sort. Don't know what his name is. Something from the archive. A foil rare again. And something else from the list, Mycosynth Golem, with affinity for artifacts. What do you guys do with all your extra land? I've got like three bundles worth of, no, more than that. I've got a bundle, uh, or what used to be called a fat pack, for each color of land, plus another one or two that are like mostly full of mixed colors of land. What do you do with them? Like, it's not like giving away, well, I mean, I got commons too, I gotta figure out what to do with, but I don't know what to do with the lands because it's nice to keep a full set of each style or type or whatever, but I, I don't know. First world problems, I know, but you know, I don't, I don't know what to do with it. What do you do with the extra land? I can't just give it away because it doesn't mean anything to anyone. I don't want to start a fire with them. I don't want to, you know, waste them sort of thing, but another mythic. This is very mythic heavy all of a sudden. And a rare, I should not complain that I got so many commons in the first few packs. There's our archive card and our foil common. Oh, cool. The letter is an owl. Just in case anyone had any misgivings that this is not the Harry Potter set, considering the name is Owlhaven, basically. Uh, Strix being the genus of owl or whatever. And there's a letter in the form of an owl. And we did open the owl teaching Hermione earlier. I think it was in this box. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. 
No two ways about it. Oh, there's our archive card, which I think is a negate, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember now. Oh, it's foil. And we got another list card. Ethereum Horn uh, Sorcerer. Wow, well, got to read. Ethereum Horn Sorcerer. Minotaur Wizard. Yep, that's the same one. Uh, that's that card. <laughs> but not in English still, so I can't verify which one it was. Oh, double rare. Double rare pack, plus a Japanese alt art. They're so beautiful, those cards. Uh, and a foil uncommon. So I wonder, with my complaint about the homogeneity of their art, because the colors and everything seem to be very, very regimental now, I wonder if these Japanese alt art ones, or any of these alt art ones, full art, extended art, foil etching, all that other fancy stuff, if any of that would be quite as intriguing and interesting if their other artwork did still have some variance to it. I'm sure it would be, but like maybe not as much because you're used to seeing different things. Like it, it's kind of like they turned uh, the regular set more boring so that you'd really, really want to get these chase cards as it were. Um, Canadian Tire here did that, right? They had uh, Mastercraft, which everyone made fun of. They call it Mastercraft. It was their in-store brand. So then they came out with Jobmate as the bargain brand, and suddenly Mastercraft is like a very good brand to get. So it's like they dumbed down the rest of the Magic set to make these that much more intriguing. I don't know. Or these and variants like this that much more intriguing. It just kind of feels that way. I could be totally wrong, but it feels that way to me at least. When you over uh, simplify things or, I don't know, there's like a giant melting pot of stuff. It all blends in. Needs a little bit more variance to it. Double rare pack again and something from the archive. I haven't seen this one yet. Oh, and then I kind of spoiled the one behind it, but we got a foil archive one. Uh, Japanese, sorry, I should say the Japanese archives. Uh, they're both beautiful. Not quite too sure about his expression there, but both very beautiful cards. And there's our majority commons again. Uncommon, rare, archive, and a foil common. That's beautiful. Very powerful dive there. Uncommon right away. Then back to our... Oh, well, it's not that many commons, actually. Get some more uncommons going there. Another rare. Something from the archive. And a foil common again. Commons. Commons like crazy. Some uncommons. Oh, I thought it was going to be a double rare again, because it felt like there was a lot. I haven't seen this Phoenix one before, actually. I don't think I opened that in my regular my regular uh, set booster. Uh, we got an archive card, which actually looks like it could be a Japanese alt art one, but it is not. And then a foil common. I have to say, actually, looking at this again, I like how the uh, automaton in it, or whatever you want to call it, the construct or whatever, uh, harkens back to the um, Kaladesh type stuff. Like they kept similar sensibilities about it. Um, I don't know if it matches with the plane and all that, but it's um, it's nice to see that commonality. So to me, like, that is nice between uh, sets. Like, this has a certain feel and texture to it, and you feel a certain thing. Um, it, it draws it and ties it all together. But having every piece of blue magic look the exact same on every card, and every piece of red magic look the exact same on every card, uh, maybe it's just me. It just doesn't do it for me. It's It's too monotonous. It's too similar. Too much same old, same old. You want, I, th I think you want some variety in that so that it's fun to look at the artwork. I think. There's another double rare pack and we have a alt art and another alt art one. Foil. So we have two Japanese alt art ones which are beautiful and something from the set. Huautuo? Uh, Huautuo? I, I'm butchering that. Honored Physician. It's the Honored Physician, then. We'll call it that. 
uh, which is nice. Some nice uncommons. Still love the artwork on that one. I'll say it every time because I do. Rare. We got something from the archive. And a foil common again. That's the second card to use that fading effect. There's another one. I think we got the full art for it or something. There's our alt art, Japanese alt art card. And a foil common again. Down to our last three packs. So this is the third last pack. Let's see what we get out of it. That's beautiful. Crystalline Dragon. Don't remember seeing that one either. I must have though. Something from the archive. A foil uncommon. And from the list. Great Teacher's Decree. They must have sweetened this. Like, this list must be specific to the set. I, I don't know. I don't even know where to look for that information. But it must be, because there's a lot of teacher-based stuff in this. It's penultimate pack time. Second last pack. Oh, rare right out the gate. Beautiful. It's a giant with a cinder block for a head. Nice. Couple commons only. Mm, liking the look of this so far. Uncommon. 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 There's a lot of uncommons, actually. There's a rare. Oh, we got our Japanese alt art. Beautiful elfin one. And a foil comp. This is the last pack. This will have absolutely nothing special in it. Guaranteed. <laughs> Just because that's what I feel. <laughs> so we got an art card. Obviously, we got that. We got an uncommon to start. We got a couple commons. Three commons. Four commons, five commons, five commons, okay. That's still reasonable. Another two uncommons? Yep, jump into our rare, which I don't remember seeing this before. We got some Japanese alt art that looks like she's waiting on someone in a restaurant. That's my guess as to what's going on there. Or it's a, oh, I see, he's choking on black uh, smoke stuff. And then we have another foil common. Well, that is what it is, uh, I think. We did all right with our um, alt art cards, I think. I'm happy with them at least. Um, we got some, we got a foil mythic and a few other uh, mythics that we didn't get in our last box. So be sure to just check out the other videos on my channel. You'll see the first box of this opening. You'll see the um, other set booster box I opened. There's a draft booster and collector booster coming this week. So they'll be open sometime this week and posted up. Uh, there's a Flesh and Blood that was posted last week, another one coming this week, I believe. Uh, there's some Genesis Battle Champions box openings. Um, I have a pre-order in for uh, MetaZoo. Everyone's hot and heavy on MetaZoo now, so uh, that should be coming whenever they release that. I've heard June, so we got a bit of time for that, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, in the meantime, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will see you later. Bye-bye.